Namaste to everyone. Uh, I'll have a quick uh, recap of uh, yesterday's sessions. We had uh, day one, the workshop started, the refresher workshop started yesterday. Uh, so we had talked about the first six lectures of uh, UHP2, uh, and it was uh, part of the module one. Uh, one mo each module uh, is going to be covered on uh, one of the day of the workshop. Yesterday was module one, consisting of six lectures, which is shown on the view file. We, we talked about understanding uh, the need and basic guidelines of universal value education. Uh, like guidelines like uh, universal, rational, verifiable, leading to harmony, the content and process, how exactly this value education is to be taken ahead, taken forward for our students by the, the respective uh, teachers, the co-explorers. The self-exploration uh, was talked about. There were proposals about it because it was stated that whatever is being said uh, as part of the content of the UHV is in the form of proposal only. A, nothing is to be assumed to be true. Everything can be, every single proposal can be verified at your own right. And own right means based upon your natural acceptance, not on the basis of what is stated in the classroom, what is uh, being told the student or what is being read. So it is uh, based upon your natural acceptance. That is what is, so, the entire process of value education is through a process of dialogue. Initially, a dialogue between uh, the me and you, and then within you. That is what is self exploration. So, self exploration as the process of value education was talked about. Then, continuous happiness and prosperity as the basic human aspirations. Each one of us, as human being, have certain desires. And it is not from today, from time immemorial, it has been there and human being has been putting an effort for uh, looking for uh, 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 realization of basic uh, aspiration. So what are these basic aspirations? That is what was talked about. So continuous happiness and prosperity, it was proposed to be seen as the basic human aspiration. And then, uh, was talked about what is understanding, what is the a right understanding, and then uh, relationship, physical facility, physical facility which is necessary for human being as well as the, the animals. However, animals, for them, it is uh, mostly adequate. Human being needs more than physical facility, and that is the relationship. So when we have this clarity, when we have this understanding, then we can understand the a prioritization also as human being for these three. That is what is living with human consciousness. Then happiness and prosperity. What exactly is the current snag? When the focus is most of the time seen in uh, accumulation of physical facility, facilities which can fulfill the need of only the body. A, and the gross misunderstanding that if I have more physical facility, that is what is going to lead to happiness. It's talked about. And then when we have also seen that what is the basic human aspiration, its recognition is not sufficient. We have to understand how to realize this basic human aspiration. So what is the method? How to go about it? That is what. So these were the six lectures which were uh, uh, talked about yesterday. The entire process for right understanding had been the self-exploration. So whatever is stated, was stated, is in the form of proposal only. A, don't assume any of the proposal to be true. So every single proposal can be verified at your own right. And own right means based upon your own natural accept acceptance, which is a referential point in each one of us, which is innate, invariant, constantly there. So once a proposal is verified on the basis of the natural acceptance, it is naturally acceptable to me. Then I can go for living with this proposal for experiential validation. And when I live according to this naturally acceptable proposal, there can be only two ways of living. Either I interact with other human beings or to produce something, I interact with the nature. So when I interact with human being, my behavior with other human beings leads to mutual happiness. It is mutually fulfilling in nature. Other feels happy, 
and I feel happy. So it is mutually fulfilling. All those proposals which are verified on the basis of natural acceptance, proposals which are naturally acceptable to me, when I live with such proposals and I interact with other human beings, it leads to mutual happiness. Both of us feel happy. And when I interact with nature to produce something, to acquire something, some physical facility from the nature, it leads to mutual prosperity, mutual enrichment. Nature enriches from me, my participation in it, and I enrich from the nature. This is what is the process of right understanding, that is the self-exploration. Now, when we have been using this word, right understanding, often yesterday in all the lectures. So when we refer it to right understanding, means what? Understanding what? So understanding what is written here, understanding harmony at different levels of my existence. I have four levels of my existence as a human being, as an individual, me alone, as a human being. Then the smallest unit of society, my family. So harmony in the family, the second level. Third level is larger group of family, which encompasses all human beings. So harmony in the society, that is what is society, which includes every single human being. And then harmony in nature, because I need physical facilities from the nature. So I have to interact, I have to live with nature. So I have to understand harmony in nature and existence. Understanding harmony at different levels of my existence is education. This is understanding harmony. When I start living with this understanding at different levels of my existence as an individual, in the family, in the society, and with nature and existence, it becomes sanskar. That is, understanding is education. Living with that understanding is sanskar. And when I live with other human beings with this understanding, it leads to mutual happiness with other human beings. And when I live with nature with this understanding, the rest of the nature for acquisition of physical facilities. It leads to mutual prosperity. The nature prospers, I prosper. And not only this, when I have the right understanding, it becomes very clear to me, which was proposed yesterday and it was verified that relationship takes precedence over physical facility. That is what is prioritization. 